Hello and welcome to UGC E Path Shala project. I am Sheetal Arora, Assistant Professor Criminology at Sardar Patel University of Police, Security and Criminal Justice, Jodhpur. And I am going to present a module on Police Research and Crime Statistics Organizations in India, BP, R&D and NCRB. The learning outcomes of this module are 1. To make the learners understand the structure and functioning of police research in crime statistics organizations in India, BPRND and NCRB in India. The police in India endure with a variety of authoritative procedural workforce and behavioral diseases and oddities. The Indian police face different difficulties as to functional self governance, operational responsibility, centralization of capacities and absence of specializations and in satisfactory pace of modernization. These are the essential and central requirement for effective working of a police association in a democratic country. Different endeavors have been made to assess and break down the components in charge of achieving the essential changes in the police division and even concentrate and good nature suggestions of different commissions and committees are accessible to realize the imperative upgrades. Democratization, decentralization, polished methodology, specialization, modernization, administration, introduction and self-sufficiency acknowledgement are a portion of the techniques which can empower the Indian police face and handle the different difficulties being confronted by them. Endeavors at the individual, authoritative and legislative levels will must be reasonably planned and actualized in the right soul for accomplishing the craved targets in such manner. Police being a non-advancement division get an inferior treatment in the money related designation. The police department along these lines ought to be incorporated into the list of plan divisions with the goal that it might get tuned in the budgetary portions for modernization itself regarding men, cash, material, machines and techniques. A modernized police organization will get to be dynamic in their working and fair in their conduct. Endeavors have been made to distinguish these paradoxes and ailments for advancing remedial measures to evacuate them. Different committees and commissions at the state and central level have been set up every now and then in these connections and Bureau of Police Research and Development in one among them. Likewise, the crime statistics are vital and crucial inputs for evaluating the personal satisfaction and human rights circumstances in a journal public. In India, crime statistics are produced on the premise of crime records kept up by various law requirement offices like the police and the legal at various levels of legal or administrative jurisdiction under the government arrangement of the nation. Consequently, as an authoritative by item, the arrangement of generation of crime measurement has a long history. National Crime Records Bureau was set up to gathering an analysis of information on crime all through the nation. However, police is a state subject under the Indian constitution. The central government through the Ministry of Home Affairs has been helping and supporting the states in the modernization of state police forces with the monetary guide and through the constitution of study groups, committees and development of central associations to help states battle the menace of crime all the more adequately. Now we will talk about Bureau of Police Research and Development, BPRND. The Bureau of Police Research and Development was formed on 28 August 1970 with the aim of the Government of India for modernizing the police forces. It is highly developed as a comprehensive consultancy association. The Government of India competed resolution number dated 
28-8-1970 formally settled the BPRND under the Ministry of Home Affairs, giving another introduction to the existing Police Research and Advisory Council 1966 for the accompanying reasons and with the essential goal of modernization of police force, to take direct and dynamic enthusiasm for the issues, to advance a rapid and systematic study of the police issues, to apply science and technology in the strategies and procedures followed by police. Likewise, and as an optional, the resolution ordered consultative part additionally for the Bureau. The Bureau was built up with the accompanying two divisions, at first with a well laid out charter of obligation, research statistics and publication development. Training is a fundamental and developing prerequisite to enhance the competency of police forces in the nation. The Gore Committee 1971 set up by the Government of India contemplated the training parts of police and gave a few suggestions. The Legislature of India, in tolerating its suggestions, made Training Division 1973, notwithstanding the two divisions officially existing to work under the Bureau. The Forensic Science Administration, un compromising and geese under the development division became over a period and a different directorate of forensic science under the BPRND appeared in 1983. Further, in 1995, Government of India chose to depend issues identifying with correctional administration work to the BPRND, so issues identifying with jails and usage of considered jail reforms can be taken up by the Bureau in a firm way. The setup is working out of the current manpower assets. Amid the year 2008, the Government of India further choose to make National Police Mission to be under the official authority of VPRND in order to change the police trends in the nation into convincing device for maintaining the internal security and deal with the difficulties in future by providing them with the essential material, scholarly organization and authoritative assets. A different division for modernization has been set up inside the domain of VPRNT for the concern for modernization of police in India. Modernization division is in charge of not worthy improvement of items or advancements for police application and guarantee compelling execution presentations of current innovations, gadgetry in the police forces. Recognizable proof of developing advancement or start of work on new innovations ought to be energized so that the police forces can be furnished with the best and are skilled to oppose any risk whether in the street, wilderness or in the lab. The primary ranges can be delineated as development, scientific examination, trial technologies for conceivable use and development of existing product utilized by police forces. Help and guidance police forces in their modernization endeavors by making the most recent examination improvement, developments, innovation, items, advances accessible to police forces. The division holds contact with the National Lab, other investigative association establishment, open and private area, events in the above fields, synchronization of modernization, modified and energizing indigenous generation of police structure and apparatus. The modernization division is required to stay up to date with modernization in the usage of science and advancement to police work in India and different nations and focus on new strategies and approaches with a perception to advance the presentation of suitable hardware and systems in the police work in India to improve its operational skill. Other than advising the Indian government, the modernization division, if required by the state government, additionally exhorts them on matters falling inside the field of the operations. The modernization division, earlier development division, was set up in 1970. The division was enlarged in 2009 with production of extra specialized post, that is essential scientific official, senior scientific person and senior scientific assistance in terms of explosives or ballistics, weapons, life sciences, building and design, electronics, traffic and transport. The modernization division is going by director and officer rank of IGP. 
The modernization division at BPRND consists of modernization wing, which is headed by the officer rank of DIG and other one technological development wing. The technological developing wing is consisting of the subsequent sub wings, transport and traffic wing, life sciences wing, weapon wing, uniform ACC outermans, wing building and design wing, electronics wing, explosive and uh, ballistics wing. Each wing is headed by a principal scientific officer. Besides this, the BPRND at present consists of four sections that is research, development, training and correctional administration. Now we will talk about research division. Research division attempts the analysis and investigation of crime and issues of journal nature influencing the police. It likewise incorporates the studies identified with the issues worried to the policing in India. The distinctive viewpoints and subjects secured for the examinations are as following. Trend and causes of crime, enhancing crime, preventive measures, their effectiveness and relationship with crime, organizing, strengthening administration methods, procedures and techniques of the police forces and their modernization, police act and manuals, improving the methods of investigation, utility and results by introducing scientific aids and punishment, insufficiency of laws. Juvenile delinquency, police uniform, badge, medals, decorations, colors and flags, police drill, warrant of procedure etc. Assistant of police, research program in states and union territories, processing and coordination of research projects, sponsoring extra mutual research, work relating to standing committee on police research, police science congress and other conferences and seminars relating to study of police problems. Involvement in social defense and crime prevention programs. Partaking in the work of the United Nations in the field of prevention of crime and treatment of offenders. Maintenance of all India statistics of crime, statistical analysis of trends of crime, documentation relating to police science and criminology publication department is also being set up within the research division for the publication of the research reports in Indian Police Journal. Now, the Development Division. Police in democratic country like India need to be reviewed time to time for better services for the public. The Development Division reviews the functioning of various types of instrument used by the police forces in India and development of new equipment in the many fields arms and ammunition, riot control equipment, traffic control equipment, police transport, miscellaneous scientific equipments and scientific aids to investigation. Lies in with the national laboratories, Indian ordinance factories, various scientific organizations and institutions and public and private sector undertakings in the above field. Coordination of development programs and stimulating indigenous productions of police equipment. Application of computer technology in various fields of police work. Police publicity and police publicity files, police weeks and parades, work related to police research and development, advisory council and its standing committee other than on police research. Now the training division. To develop the police force, with the updated equipments, laws, procedures and all, it is needed to be provided with adequate in-service updating training to the police personnel. Training division also covers the following task in the mandate. To evaluate from time to time the arrangements for police training and the needs of the country in this field in the changing social conditions and the introduction of scientific techniques in training and in police work and to formulate and coordinate training policies and programs in the field of police administration and management central detective training schools Kolkata, Hyderabad, Chandigarh etc. to assess training programs with a view to securing such standardization and uniformly in the training arrangements including courses, syllabi and curricula for various ranks in the states and union territories as may 
be desirable and to suggest modifications and improvements that may be considered necessary from time to time to meet new challenges and problems. To facilitate new refresher promotion specialist and orientation courses considered necessary for the different grades and kinds of police officers, work relating to the establishment of the Central Medical Legal Institute and the Central Traffic Institute to plan in coordination with the police training institutions, standard manuals, textbook, pamphlets, lectures, notes case, studies, practical exercises and other educative literature for the use in these institutions. To allocate relevant literature to inspect a journal or the IG training in the states for circulation to officers in order to familiarize them with training concepts and to strengthen training consciousness among the higher ranks. To standardize equipment for training and training aids and to arrange for their production and supply to the various training institute to generate and maintain a circulating library of films for the use of various police training institutions. To aid in the training of police officers of various ranks at appropriate non-police institutions inside and outside India. To arrange the annual symposium of the heads of police training institutions and short seminars on various aspects of police training. To suggest the establishment of new training institutions under the center as necessary from time to time. To perform as a clearing house for information relating to syllabi method of training, teaching, aids, training programs and literature on various aspects of police work etc. from India and abroad. To help in the development of libraries in the center and state police training institute. Now Correctional Administration Division, research and studies of prison department is also being done by BPRND at Correctional Administration Division. This division specially aims at to examine and study of prison statistics and problems of general nature affecting police administration in cooperation and distribution of relevant information to the states in the field of Correctional Administration. Organization of research study conducted by RECAS and other academic research institutes in correctional administration and to framework the guidelines to conduct research studies or surveys in consultation with the state governments. To evaluate training programs keeping in view the changing nature of social conditions, introduction of new scientific techniques and other related aspects to prepare uniform training module including course, syllabi, curricula etc. for providing training at various levels to the prison staff in the field of correctional administration. Publication of reports, newsletters, bulletins and preparation of audiovisual aids etc. in the field of correctional administration to set up an advisory committee to guide the work relating to correctional administration. Now, let us discuss about National Crime Records Bureau, NCRB. Any organization of agency should be capable of monitoring its own activities in journal terms management can be characterized as a process of organizing a set of resources to accomplish established goal and objectives. Effective management requires information to determine whether the goals and objectives are being accomplished in a timely and orderly fashion and whether the resources are being used efficiently and effectively. The more complex the organization, the greater will be the need for statistical information, particularly on resources and resources allocation and on cases and caseloads. To fulfill these aspects, National Crime Records Bureau was set up to collect, analyze and publication of data or statistics of different crimes, prison statistics and accidental deaths. Also, crime records perform a very important task in the scheme of police working for prevention and detection of crime. The Indian police over the years have sought to advance the competence of the crime record system to fulfill their responsibilities with greater competence and efficacy. NCRB is divided into six different divisions and these are as follows. Crime and Criminal Tracking, Network and System, CCTNS. It is a strategic scheme formulated in the light of experience of a non-planned scheme namely 
Common Integrated Police Application SEPA. CCTNS is a mission model project under the National E-Governance Plan of Government of India. CCTNS intend at create a comprehensive and integrated system for improving the efficiency and effectiveness of policing through assume the principle of e-governance and construction of a nationwide networking infrastructure for development of IT enabled state of the art tracking system in the region of investigation of crime and detection of criminals. An allotment of rupees 2000 crores has been made for CCTNS project. Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has permitted the project on 19-6-2009 training branch. One of the goal of NCRB is to provide training in IT and fingerprint science for capacity building in police forces in the country. Training branch of National Crime Records Bureau has been striving hard for achieving this objective. Each year this branch conducts on an average 22 training programs for Indian police officers. Duration of these courses vary from 3 days to 1 week. Training in subjects CCTNS, Advanced Fingerprint Size, Network and E-Security Colored Portrait Building System, Operators course for Statistical Software Crime in India, ADSI Operator, course for Prison Statistic India, etc. are conducted. NCRB also conducts the courses on the train, the trainer for development of training resources person in police. Programs conducted in NCRB are attended by officers of all ranks including senior IPS officers from states, union territories as well as from central police organizations and have been very received. Statistical branch. This branch was formed out of the statistical section of VPRNG which was one of the four units that were merged in NCRB at the time of NCRB creation. The statistical branch of NCRB is one of the founding branches of NCRB. This branch is headed by Chief Statistical Officer who is an STS level officer belonging to the Indian Statistical Service. The CSO is assisted by a statistical officer who is JTS level officer of ISS and a junior staff officer JSO who is an officer belonging to the EDP cadre in CRB. The SO and JSO guide and supervise the team of DPAs and DEOs and other official working under them. The DPAs and DEOs belong to the EDP cadre of NCRB, Data Center and Technical Branch. The DCT was found to ensure the regulation of following listed activities to build up, update and maintain a secure national database on crimes, criminals and property which will make available informed, accurate and timely information online to all state forces and central agencies for the purpose of improving day-to-day -day functioning in terms of crime detection, crime prevention and maintenance of public order. To update, maintain and build up a secure database on lost and recovered vehicles and provide updating facility to all vehicle counters in the country and borders check post. It provides recovered vehicles data for NCRB website from the National Data Bank of Stolen or Recovered Automobiles to procure necessary IT hardware, software as per requirement of various divisions in NCRB and monitor their maintenance and performance. To act as a control room for the organization round the clock in addition to above this branch also providing data communication facilities. Central Fingerprints Bureau the Central Fingerprint Bureau came into being in 1955 in Calcutta, now Kolkata, under the administrative control of the Intelligence Bureau. In 1973, the administrative control was transferred to CBI and it was in July 1986 that the CFPB was finally placed under the administrative control of the newly formed NCRB. At the Central Fingerprint Bureau, all the question documents involving disputed fingerprints are examined and opinion given regarding their identity or otherwise. The service is free of charge of all government agency and public sector undertakings. 
In case of private agencies or individuals, the documents should be routed through government agencies. At the Central Fingerprint Bureau, all the question documents involving disputed fingerprints are examined and opinion given regarding the identity or otherwise. The service is free of charge for all the government agencies and public sector undertakings. In case of private agencies or individuals, the document should be routed through government agencies. Crime Records Branch the main function of this division is to collect, compile and disseminate information on crime, criminal, missing persons and property in respect of various offences on the basis of monthly returns from the state or UT police authorities. Data stored is used for coordination of lost and recovered property, persons vis-a-vis -vis motor vehicles, firearms and missing persons. These results are communicated through post or email to the various district SPs. The data bank is used to provide the vehicle verification report to the various transport authorities within Delhi. Now to conclude, both of the organization Bureau of Police Research and Development and National Crime Records Bureau has their significance as per their goals, aims, missions and vision. These organizations were formed to enhance the effectiveness of police, improve professionalism in police and also to update and make police more service oriented in the democratic country like India. The approach is practices of creating better policing through trainings and modules by these organizations are in the developing direction and yet to achieve more in future.